What's up, world? Uh, my name is Strickland. Uh, born and bred, Milwaukee, USA. I'm an MC. I do my thing. It's gonna sound cliche, but life, man. Waking up every morning. If I'm blessed enough, walking around. I work a, a real kind of unique job. I'm a firefighter, paramedic, so I see a lot of things that I can write about that inspire me, that um, I can bring into, perspe into perspective for people that don't usually get to see those things. Um, I get inspired by new music. When I hear a, a, a new and up-and-coming fresh MC going to a LL Cool J concert, I think it's 1987, 88 maybe, and uh, the radio dropping from the sky. His hype man name was E-Love. He came out and hit the eject button on the, on the radio. The cassette deck came down and then LL walked out. At that moment, uh, I knew I wanted to be part of this whole thing. First time Ace brought me to London, 2001, right after 9-11, we did a show at this club called Scala. And uh, there was a, I, I don't like to say the word fan, there was a person who appreciated our music who came up to me after the show and um, and asked me to um, spit my verse that I had with Royce the Five Nine. I did a song with Royce that came out on Tommy Boy maybe two years prior to that. And um, he had written my lyrics down on a napkin. And uh, he gave me that napkin and I have that napkin somewhere. But just for him to approach me and ask me, why didn't I do that verse? Why didn't I do that verse? It was his favorite verse. And then he, he showed me a napkin where he had written out the lyrics. And um, that was like, inspiration is just uh, I can't even put it into words how I felt. It's dope. Keeping up with Master Ace, Punchline and Words worked in the studio. Uh, them, all three of them guys, uh, their worth their work ethic is incredible. Uh, words freestyling is just I, I'm speechless every time I see him. Punchline, same way, work ethic with the righties. And then um, traveling on the road with Master Ace, just you know, trying to keep up with them casts is, is, is really like it's, it's, it's a work in progress. 1999, when I was back, when I was involved with Tommy Boy, like I said before, um, their plan was to put me on as many mixtapes as possible. <laughs> so in doing that, I, I landed on the same mixtape with Ace. Ace emailed the D or called the DJ, "Hey, who's this kid on this verse right here?" The DJ told him. He contacted me via email, and I called. I, and he just he, he said some kind words. Like keep up the good work, I like the rhymes, blah blah blah. And he signed the M A on the email. So I'm saying, damn, Master Ace. So then I call the DJ, yo, you give Master Ace my email? He's like, oh yeah, I did like last week. So what the? You not gonna tell me that? That's like major. So I printed the email out. I'm showing everybody in Milwaukee, like, yo, Master Ace email me. So long story short, um, I wound up flying out here. We did this song called The Booth that was supposed to be produced by this other producer, but last minute he flaked on us. And Ace had a beat, or he had some beats, and he had to go do a show with Kane. And he said, pick a beat, when I come back, we'll do a joint. Well, he went to do the show with Kane, I picked the beat, and I wrote the joint right on the spot, because I knew I had to impress him. By the time he came back, we was mixing the song already, and that song was called The Booth. Then he invited me to be on Disposable. He brought everybody that was a part of that album on tour, which was Punching Words as well. We toured from 2001 all the way up to 2000. Long Hot Summer, same thing, everybody on the album, we toured. And then, people I got so used to seeing me, Ace, Punch, and Words, you guys should do a group album. And we had a joint that was supposed to be on Long Hot Summer, and we're like, let's just throw that out there on the mixtapes and see, you know, how people feel. And it wound up on a couple mixtapes and people liked it. So we went in and did the album, and um, here I am. Uh, remember me as a dope MC, and more than, besides being a dope MC, just a dope person. Like when I meet people that enjoy my music or I talk to people on Twitter or take pictures at the merch table, I try to like leave an impression like, you know, that dude, is a, that's a good dude. Like, he's not just an MC, he's a, like I always tell people, I don't live the rap life. Like I'm just, I'm just a regular dude who just happens to know how to rap. So I, I just want them to remember me as a regular dude who, who raps real good.